morning cheeky chappies and a happy Sunday to you, or Monday if you're watching this. So I'm going to go into the shop this morning, I've got a few things to sort out. Uh, I really need to reflect on getting these tanks really perfectly lined up before I do any more welding on them. And I'm not sure how much welding I'm going to be able to do because I'm close to running out of argon. So that's something, the sun's bright today, so that's something that we're going to have to address uh, probably on Monday or today as you're watching this or tomorrow as I'm sat here. Right, so first things first guys, down to the brewery unit. Well, we're back at the unit again, folks. You know, coming down here to me sometimes feels like Groundhog Day. You never quite know what project we're going to be working on when we get here. It could be something as simple as fixing one of the power tools that I've got. Yeah, or putting together this badass slip roller. Yeah, or getting a compressor, 100 litres, for less than 100 quid. sums it up, don't you? Holly chaps! Harry? So on that note folks, what I think I'm going to do is just bring in one more of the uh, tanks and get it on the table and just tig this, tig this one up. I don't want to use too much of this argon because if I have to order some tomorrow I don't want to run out before the other one comes. So I'll make sure I've got something for me to do tomorrow morning and then when the chap arrives we can sh swap the tanks over so I think I'll just do one of those and then before we, the daylight fails on us I want to take the dog out this afternoon. That's the plan anyway. Right, that's another world completed. I've not gone right up to the end because I tend to coke up a little bit there because I'm getting smoke from the tape. It looks like it's got a little peak in it again and the weld looks really low on this side. I'm wondering if I'm just a little bit too hot. The weld puddle travels nicely but I'm not experienced enough to know exactly what's going on. It looks like there's some undercut there or something's not quite right that bit. So I'll investigate that before I take the backing off and I might just have to reflow that section. You can see the, the aluminium bar on that side doing its job. And here, if we look at the weld, uh, the ISO needs to, yeah, what do you think, hot mess? Too much heat, probably too much heat looking at that, but once it's got a bit of pickling paste on it I wonder what it'll look like. So I'll just uh, inspect that section there and then I will come and take the backing off so we can have a look at the other side. Right then folks, here it is in all of its hot mess glory. The penetration on this one was a lot better. Coking on the end, I knew I'd get it from, because I set fire to the tape, but running all the way down, we've got good penetration, nicely flattened out, a few craters here and there. I'm an amateur, take it easy on me. And then as we run down the seam, it just looks better and better on this side. This is the best one yet. Still a few craters. Don't know what to do about them, I might just reflow them. I'm trying to learn how to tail off so the craters disappear. Um, and I went back in and reflowed a couple on the inside, but you can see them again on this side. I don't know if they go straight through or what, I'm not sure how these work. But I'm impressed with that, I think once that's got a bit of paste on, it will look completely different. 
Right, I've just applied some of the old pickling paste, folks. You might be able to just make it out there. This is the stuff. Antox 71E Plus. You do not fuck about with that. Look at the symbols. Yeah, really fucking nasty stuff. Really nasty stuff. So it's already starting to go to work on the top of the weld. So we'll give that 10 minutes and we'll come and wash it off with water. I've done it near the drain so I can rinse all of it away when it's done. I do not want this stuff hanging about in the unit. Right, I've washed off the pickling paste. I've just got that running now to just drain it out of the unit. And here she is in the cold light of day, folks. So this is what we've ended up with. How's that? You see the craters? They've really shown up now, so I'll have to reflow them. But sections like this, I'm pleased with. I mean, some of the welds are uh, quite nice, like this one. That little section, it's only, like I say, 75 mil at a time. And then you've got to join, you see, that's where all the difference comes in. Because you're joining weld, I don't know what happened there. You're joining lots and lots of separate welds up, like a little bit like that. A little bit like that and then you come up here do that piece and then I came over here and did that piece and then that piece and then come back down here and join these two up and that's why it looks all patchy but I think when it's flattened out with a panel hammer Chubby mentioned it our mate Chubby who's now a welder in New Zealand might that was terrible accent he said, just get a good set of panel hammers and I should be able to just uh, beat it into submission. <laughs> That's it for today, kids. In the shop. Let's go and take the dog for a nice walk. Come on, buddy. I've done my editing. Let's go and uh, take a chance for a walk. If you've done your editing, then how are you going to add this into the vlog? I've done my special effects. I'll show you when we get back. Okay. It's the first time I've done it and the lighting changed on it a little bit, so it wasn't amazing, but it was fun to do. Right, come on, Chaz. Let's go. You what, buddy? Yeah, but you'll get muddy. You will, it'll be full of puddles. Alright. See if I can spot you. Don't you, don't you